Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, my name is Clarity, and today we will be playing Don't Starve! Reign of Giants! Now, you might be wondering, this isn't where we left off, what are you doing here? What, what is this? What happened? Why didn't you post a video for a few days? You said you were going to. Yes, I was going to. I wanted to. I went to edit them. I had actually six or seven episodes of this recorded. Yeah, about two hours worth of, of footage. And I went to edit it because some of the footage I, um, I wanted to edit it together and see like what I could do with editing. And the computer crashed. And so here we are. <laughs> I lost, I lost so much, so much, so many episodes. So we're just going to, uh, we're gonna have to play a new game. Um, I, I died twice. Unfortunately, I couldn't really show you guys that because uh, when I came back on after my computer got uh, crashed, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this up. I. Uh, all the files were corrupted. I couldn't do anything about that. It was uh, rather annoying, to say the least. Um, so, you know, whatever. We're going to hopefully get this one out. I, I think it was something to do with my DX Tory settings, because I had to actually fix them before I was able to... Uh, before I recorded this one. Um, they seem to have reverted back to default on, like, some of them, and, like, oh, it was just weird... So we're gonna we're gonna try this once more. Uh, let's just skip this because we've already seen that. So um, I learned quite a lot of new things actually uh, while I was uh, in in the short period of time, I guess you could say, uh, in the two hours that I played this game. I also did a lot more research on the wiki and um, and I also remembered a lot of like my old uh, strategies, if you if you will about playing this game. Um, the first one is you, you constantly want to keep moving and uh, as much as you can for the at least the first three days. Um, the other thing that I learned is, oh, I, I really need to get to these things before the turkey gets there. Uh, the gobbler will gobble up everything in its sight. We don't like the gobbler. No, we're going to kill him. Is he still around? I swear. Where is he? Oh, well, we're going to have to get to the berries before he does. Yes. <laughs> so as I was saying, um, if you guys d haven't noticed, this place is really green. Like, the area is, like, the screen is really, really green. Um, the reason for that is that uh, we are spawned in a new biome. Well, not new biome. A new weather pattern. A new uh, season, if you will. That's the word I was actually looking for anyways. So we're in a different season that's added by Reign of Giants called Spring. And Spring, you have a 50-50 chance of getting either Spring or Autumn. Autumn take, is like the easiest season out of all of them. Uh, it does have like its own special little tiny boss type thing, but it, it's not really that hard of a season. Whereas Spring, you have a massive massively high chance of rain to happen continuously and with the new wet mechanic that's in the game which I'm sure we will see it makes it a lot harder uh, not to mention a lot of the animals are a lot more aggressive such as bees bees are um, are constantly in like a pissed off mode so the closer you get they all act like um, killer bees so they, they will chase you around a lot more and will be a lot more likely to attack you just for being around them. Which is a little annoying. Um, also, you have a lot less daytime. Which can be a bit of a hassle. So, yeah, that's not cool. Um, but we're just gonna run around and see what we can find. Because I definitely want to find a pig village if I can, if anything, to be honest. So... Uh, we're definitely going to try and find that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do a lot of exploring right now. Um, the problem, the biggest problem with spring is that um, since it rains a lot, and there's there's a bunch of different things that uh, creatures do, such as rabbits don't uh, come out of their holes so in, until summertime, and um, spring is actually one of the only seasons in which rabbits aren't able to be harvested. 
um, because they never come out of their hole. However, you can shovel them out. Um, what else? What else? All right. Um, plants grow a lot faster in spring because there's so much rain. So, you know, it, it's a good time to be farming. However, when you're starting out, you don't really have access to farms in that sense. So, you know, you don't really have access to that. Um, also, in spring, you want to spend a lot of your time preparing for the other new season that came out, which is um, summertime. And summer is kind of like the inverse of winter, where uh, instead of a freezing mechanic, you have a chance of overheating. And overheating is bad times. You will start to take damage, and uh, especially... Oh, what is that? Oh, okay, that's... Uh, it's a mole worm right there. Those guys will seek out uh, rare gems. Oh, look at this. We have a pig house. Great. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. I think it's just one, though. Ooh, and it's really close to some clockwork knights. That might be useful to us. Let's pick up the uh, suit and some of the sticks that this poor dead guy's got. I mean, his loss is our win. We're going to craft ourselves a straw hat. Um, it, it has a 20% reduction from... A wetness when when it's raining so you know straw hats are pretty good to use um yeah oh crap that's a spider uh we don't have a weapon right now i could make myself an axe and call it a day Ooh, so many spiders we're actually gonna try and harvest a lot of those guys because i want to build up a bee farm i think i want to build up an aviary um apiary because i think during the summer um, bees, bees are very useful because like, uh, during the summer plants and everything need to be refertilized a lot, um, because they get dried out so much, but, um, they, they do grow a lot faster. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, it's humbleweed. So this is a new thing that gets added. These basically just, uh, float around through the desert biomes and, uh, they, they can have a random chance of having a bunch of different stuff. Um, there's also buzzards, as you can see them flying around there. They, they will fly down and get some meat. Oh, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Hmm. Let's pick the cac... No, let's leave the cactus. Uh, cactus is a new type of thing. Uh-oh. I want to stay away from the buzzards. Oh, and it's getting nighttime. We don't want Charlie to come bite our fingers, so... We're gonna light this up. Um, whoa, what is this? What is this? No light the dark. Oh, there's a bunch of fighting on the go. Don't hit me. Okay, <laughs> we seem to have stumbled upon something. There, there's a bunch of pigs near here. Let's pick up a fish and some eggs. Stay near fire. Yes, protect me. Please. That's my meat. Okay, and there's also a new biome. A couple new biomes, actually. One of them, as you can see right here, is... Uh, is... Um, belong to the wolf. Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. Uh-oh. Uh, make another one. Oh, build it! I can't build! Oh, no! I'm gonna die right here? I can't build... I can't build! No! <laughs> what a way to begin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, the dogs were hitting me, so I kept on flinching, so I couldn't build. So we're going to get right back into the game. Holy cow, I've died three times. I just can't catch a break. Maybe this time we'll spawn in autumn instead of, uh, instead of spring. That would be great, actually. Because I'm really good at... Oh, yeah, we actually did. Because uh, it's not as green, I think. I think it's more of an orange background. So here we go. We might actually get somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely autumn. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So <laughs> I'm a lot better at uh, winter now than... Uh, like, a lot better at uh, preparing for winter during the autumn than I am in, uh, in the springtime. Now, the only thing that you really have to worry about in autumn over anything else like any of the other seasons um is the berger which is basically like a badger bear combo type thing um and which will come and steal your food out of your chests and break everything in its way including trees so it's a big pain in the 
side let's just put it that way but it's definitely one of the easier um things to deal with so there's no big problem there um but yeah, as you can see, like since we're in autumn, you, there's like a lot more daytime that we can play around with. Of course, we're still going to have to go looking for a lot more. Um, uh, we're still going to have to explore and use the same strategy, but uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot easier. We're also going to be preparing for winter. If I could get my words to come out of my mouth at a reasonable rate, that would be awesome. It's also not going to rain as much and things aren't gonna grow that fast. So that's that's one of the downsides is we're gonna have to live off of meat and probably prepare a lot of meat for the winter. But um, you know, that's uh, this is basically how the game used to work in vanilla before the DLC. So I'm a little bit more used to this method. Like I don't know any uh, too many strategies for uh, dealing with summer so that would have been a little bit uh scary for me to actually deal with um so yeah we're just going to look around the island and uh, gather up as much stuff as we can until we have like a good fair amount and maybe found a good location with a lot of rabbit holes because uh i definitely want to find a lot of rabbit holes for the winter because uh we're definitely going to want to um eat rabbits because uh, they, they tend to stay a lot longer than other food sources and uh, they're a lot easier to harvest than farms during the winter because like I just said um, things don't oh what there must be something behind you because Wilson wants to go there all right Wilson you go for it yeah so uh, yeah that's what that's my plan I'm gonna just uh, keep going around you guys don't really need to see this so I'll probably uh, skip until I get to something a little bit more interesting so um yeah i'll see you when that happens all right see ya. hey guys welcome back um as you can see i've kind of done a little bit more exploration we're on uh i think day two right now and i just wanted to show you guys that there are these mini glaciers now uh they're added to the game they're basically a way of getting through the summer they allow you to make some endothermic fire and a bunch of things a bunch of different ways to cool yourself down so like you can make an ice cube ha um, hat and all this other stuff to try and cool you down during the summer so of course we don't really need that because winter's coming up and we don't need to wear an ice cube on our head for that because that'd be kind of silly but um yeah so I, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that. I also wanted to, um, I'm just picking up some stuff here. I also wanted to show you guys the map. I think the location that we're going to kind of live in is around here. The reason why I wanted to pick this spot is because um, it has like, especially around here, it has a lot of grass that's really bunched up and that way I don't have to waste my time getting manure. Um, for the grass because when you pick grass up and try and move it different places and try and rearrange it for a farm uh you need to uh when you place it it doesn't grow back until you place some manure on it and that's a little bit of a pain in the butt so i'm definitely going to go over there there's also a lot of um uh, oh i need to craft another one of these all right so uh there's also a lot of oh wow I didn't expect it to rain. <laughs> Let me get the sentence out. <laughs> um, there's also a lot of rabbits over there, and rabbits, as I've said before, are going to be our main food source in this game, especially during the winter time. I think this biome that I'm in, by the way, is like a new rock-only type of biome and where the glaciers spawn, and I think there can also be some hounds that spawn in hound bounds. I, I didn't think that they were actually able to spawn in the normal world uh, until now. Uh-oh, that's not good. We're, we are running out of space. Let's eat a carrot and then take these. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to chop down one more rock, and I think that should be enough gold for now. I wanted to make sure that I had enough gold um, to make both an alchemy, uh, alchemy machine and... Um, how long is this ring going to last? Uh-oh. Yeah, now we definitely have to go, because uh, we're out of stuff. Um, yeah, I wanted enough gold so that I would be able to make both a science uh, prototype machine and a uh, 
an alchemy machine because I don't want to really have to come back here too often because, you know, when you've got resources around you, you might as well take them. Um, yeah, speaking of which, yeah, so I'm just going to do a little bit more exploring and I'll be, I'll be back if I find anything interesting. If not, I'm just going to show you when I set up my camp, all right? Bye. Well, that didn't take really long. I found I found a berry bush garden uh, by by uh, protected by um, the pigs for their king. So every now and then these things can spawn, and uh, basically they're guarded by these pigs, and which will instantly attack you uh, if you get close. But you know, high risk, high reward. Uh, let's drop this on the ground because I don't need that. Actually, I can just eat it. Yeah. Eating petals, by the way, I didn't know this when I when I died, or I forgot it, I should say, um, actually heals you. It, it doesn't do anything else other than that, so, you know, they're quite all right. Uh, we are really... Okay, we don't need that pickaxe. Um, let's make an axe, because we need to chop down some trees. Um, these trees that look like there's something out of Dr. Seuss's books are called birch nut trees and um, they're a new tree that's added and they can drop oh i should probably plant that actually they can drop these birch nuts in which can be cooked and eaten so they're yet another food source and they can drop two of them i think in the autumn uh so like they have a higher chance of dropping the birch nuts uh, during the autumn, but they do drop like the, the same amount of wood and all that stuff and it's the same wood You can use it for the same things There we go. Let's we'll just, just put that there and um, Yeah, so they're they're like a neat and interesting new type of wood that you can uh, play around with um, They add a little bit more to the game than just oh, I should probably eat that as well <laughs> They add a little bit more to the game than just being another tree um, also, I think they have an interaction with one of the giants in the summertime. He likes birch nuts. So he'll come after you. And he's kind of a dragon, and you don't really want to deal with that. Okay, let's eat this. Um, I think we have enough stuff now, but I think I'm going to need to get a little bit more wood because uh, I want a chest. So I'm going to see if I can get a full stack of wood, and then we're going to build our house. Finally. <laughs> um... Yeah, so a good portion of this game is just running around and discovering different things. Um, I want you guys to let me know in the commentary, uh, like in the comments below, if you guys enjoy this type of thing where I'm, I, I cut out all of the smaller crap, if you, if you will, or I, I don't spend near as much time um, just showing you things that you don't really need to see. And I, I just uh, tell you about things, be a little bit more informative. Or if you guys would rather me, you know, make a little bit of jokes on the matter. And, because uh, I can I can do funny. Come on now. <laughs> uh, I can certainly try. Let's put it that way. Um, or if you guys would are, are completely fine with this. I mean, like, I can definitely do a lot more content like this. Um where I'm being a little bit more informative and I can help you out with uh, with what I know at least. And by all means if I make any mistake, leave a comment. I don't I'm I don't get fussy about that. I'm not going to get pissy or anything like that. Uh, if I make make a mistake, it, I make a mistake. I mean, I'm not the greatest at video games, so, you know, I'm not going to pretend to be. Um yeah, with that being said, we're going to go build our house. So, uh, I think I wanted to do it around here because there were a lot of rabbit holes. Uh, but holy cow, this is a big biome and so is this one. Like, they're both the same biome. So, like, we've got a lot of plains, rabbit-style biomes that we can play around with. And those are some of my favorite, at least for the winter. So, yeah, here we go. We've got a really large amount of rabbits around us. Yeah, we're going to build somewhere around here. I don't think we want to build too... Uh, yeah, let's build near the water. That way we have, uh, you know, play, uh, bad guys can't come from here. The only thing that can is penguins, so, you know, it's a little bit more of a defensible spot. Uh, we're going to build ourselves a fire pit. I should probably be spending my time doing a lot of other different things, though. So let's build ourselves a trap. 
and we're gonna set the trap right here. And if you place it right on top of the rabbit hole, they'll just come right out and then eventually get trapped. So you don't have to worry about placing it in any sort of like weird direction. Uh, we're gonna build ourselves a science machine and we're just gonna place it like right there or something. I do have to be a little careful where I place these, especially for the summer, but uh, summer's far away, so I'll worry about that later. <laughs> uh, we're gonna build some planks because I want a chest and I don't have enough. Darn. All right. Uh, well, let's eat some berries and stuff because we're getting down in hunger. And I should probably replace my hat. All right. So, hmm. We need a little bit more wood, so let's go just chop down these this normal tree here. Yeah. Um, oh, birch nut trees can also have like their kind of evil version if you chop down too many of them. Um, they can turn into poisonous birch nut trees in which, uh, as the name suggests, they kind of like spurt out poison and other nasty things that you probably don't want to deal with. So I'm just gonna plant these trees right here. I am gonna get a lightning rod here soon too, because that's definitely something I would like to uh, make sure I had. Uh, let's make some more boards and pick up the boards that we have. And we're gonna build a chest. And we're gonna put our chests over in this corner right here. So it's uh, I can defend it pretty well. All right, and we're just gonna throw in our excess stuff. Uh, like that, and there. So like anything we have a full stack of, I'm just gonna throw in, because we don't need to keep that much extra on us, uh, and we don't need niter. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that spent a lot of our daylight, so that's, that's definitely something, like you wanna do a lot of your crafting during during the night time actually and I should probably get back to my base as soon as I break this um, because like you can't really do anything else in the nighttime anyway so you might as well be crafting it's like the same thing with Minecraft I'm actually gonna pick up this grass and throw some of it on my fire grass isn't that great for fuel but you know it's better than nothing and I don't have any wood on me right now so I can't really use that either um, yeah, it's like Minecraft, you want to make sure that you're... Um, I lost my train of thought. Lovely. <laughs> so, we want to make an electric doodad. Because uh, the game adds a different recipe uh, with Reign of Giants. It adds a different recipe for the alchemy uh, engine. So you need uh, two electric doodads for that. So I'm going to refine a couple more. Because uh, it takes... Two electric doodads, so let's make some electric doodads. We need two. And then we need some boards, so we're not gonna be able to make the alchemy engine just yet, because we're gonna need a lot more boards. So I'm just gonna put all of this stuff away. And we are going to make a shovel if I could find it. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Uh, shovel would be really useful. We'll be able to uh, move some of our plants around And I'm just gonna organize a little bit more. I really want to find Chester. I Really do like he's gonna be very useful to us. Okay. It's almost daytime. So I'm gonna get my axe ready I'm gonna build another axe Because we're gonna have to go chop down some more trees for the things that I want um, Yeah, so we should actually find out where all the trees are around us. That's one problem that we're probably going to have is is uh, we don't have very much of a forest around us, so we're going to have to kind of artificially build a forest around us. Shouldn't be too bad. Because, I mean... Oh, wait, I shouldn't drop that down. Uh, we can just get gather up some pine cones from everything else. So, uh, we found pigs but they don't like us because uh, we, we can't feed those types of pigs. They're guardsman pigs. I'm talking, of course, about the uh, berry bushes that are over here, which are being defended by the pigs. Um, can't really use them the way that we wanted to use the pigs. Uh, the cool thing, the reason why I want to find pigs is because you can feed them berries and other things like that, and uh, depending on the type of food that you give them, they will follow you around for a certain amount of time 
and uh, they'll they'll help you in both combat and like uh, you know chopping down wood and all this stuff. So anything that you re you do, they'll try and help you with, which is awesome to say the least. Uh, especially during wolf attacks, they're they're really good for that too. Um, but because uh, like every I think every three to twelve days. You, you, it's a random number. You can get attacked by, uh, by a pack of wolves. Yeah, we'll plant a couple of these guys around us too. Um, which, it, which is annoying to say, uh, like, which is really annoying. So what we can do is we can probably kite the wolves into those berry garden guys anyways. They, they'll come and attack us, but the wolves will attack the pigs as well. So they'll start fighting each other and then we'll be able to get a lot of stuff out of that. Which should be fun to do. Oh, I can't carry any more stuff. Let's eat that then. All right. Um, once you learn a recipe um, using the alchemy system, you can build it on the go. Oh, I can't carry any more stuff. Uh, let's get another uh, niter. Don't really need niter. Um, there isn't like an infinite supply of niter, and I know it's like... Uh, finite resource in, in a sense, but, uh, cobbler, I'm gonna get him, no, 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 we're gonna attack him, no, come back, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not gonna get him, darn it, um, yeah, so I'm just going to, holy cow, this is a lot of stuff, I'm going to eat these, and these, and these, and I'm gonna start picking up um, these saplings. Now, the reason why I didn't build my base like next to a bunch of saplings rather than uh, like where I have all of my, ugh, I have a bunch of grass around me instead of saplings is because saplings don't need manure to uh, to regrow. So I don't need to waste a lot of manure on on the grass because it's already around me. Whereas the saplings, I just have to plant, and then I've got. Uh, crap load of stuff around me. Same thing with trees. They don't need manure to start growing. So having a lot of grass around you is probably a good idea because you're not going to waste a lot of time trying to get the grass to uh, regrow for you, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep on doing this. Uh, we are getting a little close to the wrapping up point, but uh, there's a couple things that I wanted to get done before that. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep on farming this stuff up, and I'll be back when I'm when I'm ready to show you guys some, some other stuff that I'm going to do. All right. Welcome back once again, guys and, and girls. Um, yeah, so it's nighttime, so I'm just going to head back to my base and start building my... Uh, my alchemy machine. Uh, let's throw some wood on this fire because we've got a lot of wood now. So let's get rid of that. I can't carry any more stuff. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my chest for now because I don't need it on me. I need this stuff. So we'll just put that away and we'll equip that because why not. Um, and then we're gonna plant these later. Uh, same thing with these, so we don't need them. Oh, I do need this, though. So, here we go. We should be able to create, yes, an alchemy machine. There we go. And we're going to put that right there, right next to the water. That way, it'll be less likely that anything bad will come and uh, break it on me. Because that, that thing was pretty bloody expensive. Um... So we could make a thermal measurer, which will basically allow us to uh, tell how close to the end of the season we are. But I think what we're going to do instead, like I said, we're going to make ourselves a uh, lightning rod. Because lightning is definitely something that I want to be wary of. Where is the most of my... Okay. So I'm going to put the lightning rod right here. And uh, check out that. Look at that. We've got ourselves our first rabbit. Um, they, with this new uh, like update to the game, uh, rabbits actually like rabbits and other animals such as birds do actually have a hunger limit, so they will go bad. And I'm putting air quotations, but you guys can't see that uh, in their own sense. So we're just gonna murder the rabbit right away, and we're gonna eat this. 
it's it's starting to turn on us um yeah so i'm just going to i i think we've hit the wrapping up point so uh i'm just going to plant my saplings and i will uh and and my uh trees here and i will see you guys in the next episode have a good one bye